Hello and welcome to the Cinema 4D Quick Tips. Sometimes when you work with a MoGraph setup, you might want to pick out a specific clone and control its position and rotation by using a viewport gizmo or handle. But how can you do that? Let me show you. First of all, you need to understand that every single clone comes with its unique ID and you can display this ID by selecting the cloner, going to the Transform tab and choose Display Index. And here you can see that these clones have got numbers starting from 0 and going until 9. And now if we want to control this clone, which has got the ID 4, we just need to address it by using this ID. Let me show how you can do this. With the cloner selected, I go to the MoGraph menu here and choose a formula effector. Now don't be afraid, it's actually not that hard to do what I want to do here, because here in the variables, usually this is folded if you unfold this, you see that there is a variable for the object index. So we can work with that. Now if we just type in id equals 4, we will address this very specific clone. Now where is it at the moment? Let's go to the parameter tab and let's just deactivate position and also deactivate scale. And here it is again. Now let's enable position again and let's set it to zero. Now it is back in this position. And then let me also move the formula effector up here and just set the transform mode to be absolute and the transform space to be effector. And now the object moves up and can already be moved using this viewport gizmo here. Now, if I go to the rotate tool and try to rotate it, nothing happens. So how can we do this? Let's go back and select the formula effector and let's activate rotation. And what we have to do is we have to adjust one of these values because otherwise it won't recognize that it has to follow the rotation of the gizmo here. So let's just type in 360 and here we go. Now we can rotate it and if we use the move tool, we can move it. And if by accident this is the wrong clone, just go to the formula effector, back to the effector tab and just type in ID equals, for example, 5. Then it's this one that can be controlled completely. Thanks for watching! If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment and subscribe!